Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hey, Wendy girl, what's going on? I got your message and... Uh... Didn't get a chance to call you back when you had originally called me. So I'm calling you now to see what was going on. Yeah, yeah, girl, I saw it. I saw it. I said, I don't know what to think about that. Because I told you, little Cal and Big Cal, you were treating them like they were your kids. They were your babies. Now, I already told you, I said, let that boy fan for himself. Let him get a job. A J-O-B, regularly job. Whatever you wanted him to be a part of, because we knew we knew you had connections, girl. I was like, when you called me and said they can't going after my son now, I was like, ain't nobody going after your son, Wendy. Your son just spoiled. You spoiled him rotten, just like you spoiled Big Kel rotten and look what happened. He cheated on you with not a white girl. He cheated on you with a younger girl. Both of them still vain hell, okay? Now, I told you about Kevin. Yeah, he said, no, nah, Kevin was going to do something special with your career. He was going to make you known to the millions of viewers or whatever. You're just going to be sitting on evil. I like, like you said on a pot of gold. Are you serious? Can't nobody make you get rich. And if they can, you better watch out for them. I told you that. You know what I did? Now you got two one was your husband, and the other one was your son. And as you can see, you owe back rent of seventy grand. That's almost like a master's degree. And I told you that boy did not need to go to Miami because Miami is where the people go to have fun, chill out, and waste other people's money and time. But did you listen to me? No, you ain't listen to me. I know it. I know it. I tried to tell you. And I said, then you let Kevin get away with everything and you become, you know, another. Well, at the time, you would have been a stepmom, but she was just trying to get you. I'm, I'm like, where is it that women who want to mess with other women's husbands on Front Street? Where do they do that at and why? But I told you, you were sitting around talking about all these people. You were uh, giving over information that. You know they strictly told you in confidence. I said, that's going to be an issue. And you want to get on TV and Kevin telling you he's going to make you this big fun instead of third? Well, make it where it don't affect your health. Come look at your health now. You know, you know what you suffer from. Then you up here you know, getting sick and not taking good care of yourself, you're still drinking too much, and I told you, put that liquor down, I said, stop smoking and put that liquor down, you stop smoking, but you didn't put that liquor down, so I was like, okay, you want to know about what you should do, I told you from the get-go, little KL need a job, he did not need to be in Miami going to school, he could have stayed with you, okay, and he could have went to NYC, but if he didn't make the cut, you know, I told you, he wasn't too bright in some areas of living. He wasn't too bright, okay? He wasn't the sharpest tool in the shed. But you didn't really tell me the truth, and I felt you didn't tell me the truth, or why he couldn't get in at NYC. Okay, a candid uh, girl, which is a uh, rock, you can make it. Why your son ain't going to make it? You sitting up there paying him. For him to be in an all-expense, luxurious apartment. What you think he did on, during the week and on the weekend? Partying. That's exactly what he did on your dime. And I don't know even why. I said, no, nah, you need to go find you a lawyer, a real reputable one, and let them handle your finances. 
uh, few uh, something that happened with the cab doing, having a uh, big cab somewhat, you know, calling himself looking after you. But we see where they got you. Got you up in the hospital, got you up in the wellness clinic, got you out here looking like a nut. People saying this and that about you, bloggers, uh, other media outlets talking about you. And uh, you're looking kind of rough, too. I saw all of it. You know, you be wanting to talk about certain things. Then you don't want to talk about the things that makes a difference. See, when I was telling you, when Kevin was growing up, I said, don't baby that boy. Don't baby him. And let him get H-A-O-D. Even if it's uh, when he's 15 and a half, 16, whatever, let him get a job. Let him be responsible. You got to learn a person to uh, be responsible and accountable for their actions. And to know the value of a dollar. You be like, no, no, he, uh, he ain't got to learn it that way. I got a good foundation for him, and I don't want him to be uh, working minimalistic type jobs. I, you just need to go to school and study and take over my empire. I said, what empire are we talking about, honey? Because if you're talking about continuing being in show business, look where it's got you. You can't even take a freaking vacation. You can't even retire and not be hounded about coming back to work. The entertainment field is a real joke, okay? You never retire. They don't have an easy payment plan. And you still be out there working when you're 80 and 90 years old. They literally want you to drop dead. And then that ends your career or your uh, contractual agreement. Told you this whole entertainment thing ain't, ain't what it is. And when you fell out, thought you seen a, a, a devil dog or something. When you were playing with that green outfit. Thinking you were the Empire State Building lady. Child. Let freedom ring, honey. I was like, let my she said, let freedom ring. From the byways, the highways, over the mountaintops, and everything in between. Try to mess you up. You see where you at, man. Right? Do you see where you at? Okay. And you knew where you were. And people call it karma. I call it just being a bad situation. One to be amongst the who's who's. And this is what you did. You got a spoil ex husband, and you got a spoil young boy, because if he meant anything and you taught him the correct way of doing for the less fortunate, and let's keep it real, you are among the less fortunate right now, because you can't, you have no control of your money or your life. Other people are making decisions for you, and I told you that's going to be a big deal down the road to you. You don't want to listen to them. Now you call me, asking me for my advice. I'm telling you, ain't too much advice I can give you now, but you on the low, on the, a lonely road by yourself. We don't know. You just have to keep you in prayer. That's why I say I have to keep you in prayer, honey, because I can't say no more. Well, I know you need to bring that boy home. He needs to go to school in, he needs to go to school in New York City if he can't get into NYU. Okay? But yeah, I saw everything. I saw about the seven. 70000 unpaid rent. He was a sex, uh, facing eviction. And I'm like, if she don't bring that boy home with her, instead of trying to hide from him, so he won't be seeing what you are really doing. And you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, Wendy. We know you're still doing what you're doing. But you try to clean your act up, but it's too, too late in a sense. It's too late for you to come make a full comeback. Yeah, I know about uh, old Big Kale trying to say he's going to be evicted, too, from his lifestyle. I'm like, let that nigga get evicted. Yes, please let him get evicted. Okay, because he had no business doing the way he did you. I mean, if he wants you no more, y'all could have had an amicable, uh, somewhat type of split. And then he could have been dating who he wanted to date. And then if he ended up having a baby, okay, it ain't no uh to no road for you to tow because y'all are divorced. But again, you still call yourself want to be a part of his life. And a man don't give a crap about you. 
was he here when all you were going through those different times? We were looking like, I don't know, Boo Boo the Clown. I know, did he come to your defense? Oh, no, he did not. He showed it not. Now he in court talking about uh, since your money has been held up. But old Wells Fargo, I don't know, know who's still doing, dealing with them, but I guess it's a good thing because if they didn't step in and, and freeze some of your accounts of you using and spending money frivolously, I guess you wouldn't be worth as care about them. That might be a, a blessing in disguise. Okay? Maybe the Lord is trying to tell you something, Wendy. Okay? But, you know, like I said, everything comes to a head. Everything comes to a boil. And your son needs to start fending for himself. Getting his own way of living life and being accountable for his actions. It's time for brother to get a job. It's time for your ex-husband, mistress, wife, girlfriend, however you want to see it. She need a job and Kevin needs a job. They need to stop eating off you, take accountability for their own lives, okay, and their own uh, finances, and live their life to the fullest without you financing any of it. Now, I understand um, you want your son to go to school and, and be somebody in a professional manner. I understand that, and it's good. Then again, we got schools, or you have schools in New York City you can go to, okay? And they'll let them in because they'll know who the parent is, and, and some people still like you, love you, and want to see you come back. But I'm like, if they really want your friend, they'll be tell you to retire. See, and live the rest of your life out, uh, you know, just being you, doing you, being relaxed for a change. Instead of keeping up with the latest gossip. Yes, the latest gossip that's going on. All right? They don't want you to get exploited, which we know you have a lot of heads hung up around you. You have a lot of do people. You have people just want you for uh, your notoriety and, you know, just uh, you supporting it. And their uh, need to be around somebody who's influential. Being around somebody who's going to pick up the tab, the bill, uh, for all their expenses while they're with you. Yes. They're called leeches. Now you're calling me, wanting me to tell you what to do. And all that I can tell you in it is just be true to yourself. Try to stay healthy. Try to get uh, yourself around more positive, willing to help you instead of use you type of people. Get away from Kevin. Don't even take his phone calls no more. Move on, okay? Because that's just a, a road you don't want to go down and it's still murky water to travel. And with that little boy right there, because he'll always be your little boy, whether you look at him as a man or whatever, but you baby him and you're still babying him. Let him get a job. J-O-B. You got one when you were younger. You didn't live off your parents. He needs to not live off you. He needs to work for his livelihood. And that's all I got to say, honey. Now, you anything else you want to talk about? Because there ain't too much we need to talk about anymore. Because that's the reason why you called me. So, wish you well. Love you. And keep in touch now. But just heed my warning. That little cab come on back home with you. You stop doing those things that you don't want him to see. Let him get a job. Okay? Let him know and experience what real work is all about amongst the real people. Not just the movers and the shapers, but also know another side of people having to have to work and provide for themselves and their family members. And, uh, Definitely, don't be thinking about no podcast. Podcast should not even be in your livelihood at this time. You having a great peace of mind, great focusing on just self awareness and, and being well and healthy. That's what you need to be concentrating on. And let these two jokers right here fend for themselves so they'll know whenever you do come back, if you come back, they can experience the real Wendy's experience. 
podcast. But like I said, hell, you too old anyway. You need to sit out somewhere. Hell, retire. That's my new word, retire. That's what I'm looking for, retirement. And I just wish the same for you. Well, that's all I got with it. And uh, if you ain't got nothing else to say, we're just going to move on and uh, so I can get some shit out, you know. And continue believing in yourself. And you know things are going to get better, girl. Just keep going first and you'll be straight. You'll be straight and you'll be walking the narrow road where most people don't like to travel. Okay? And tell your son, get a job. That's the word. That's the thought of the month. Job. All right, girl. I hear you. I hear you. I know you're still going to do what you want to do. You ain't listening to me. Maybe you'll hear it in a stick somewhere in your memory banks, but we just know how it is. We only talk about maybe three or four times a year anyway. You always come to me when you just feel like nobody's on your side and you be really wanting me to tell you the truth. But I say it in a comical way so many, so much that you don't really take me serious anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, he's still, he's still your child, but he needs a job. You need to stop babying him. Yes, that's what you need to do. Uh-huh, I know, I know you love me, Jeff. I know, like your arm candy, but that is your child. Ain't your man, ain't your support, uh, not support, but your, um, valet person he's not a one he's not a a, a a mate for you to be hanging on and, and showcasing around it's your son okay respect the barriers so when he come off on you for something you can get him straight say i'm your mother i'm not your friend i'm not your foe i'm not your uh financial piggy bank so he'll know where things are going but he's just watching his daddy Moving in his daddy ways, he's gonna drip you dry. Mm-hmm. I told you, you know what time it is, honey. You know what time it is. There ain't no sacrifice time either. But I'm pretty sure somebody talked to you about that as well. Okay. All right, all right, okay. But call me when you can. Call me when you can. All right, Wendy. Okay. Good night. Bye.